I just hacked a Wi-Fi with Thomas. And here is the Wi-Fi password. How easy it was. If you think that it was real, then sorry, because it was fake. So, hacking Wi-Fi, hacking Android phones, hacking Instagram, hacking VGMI, hacking this, hacking that, hacking everything with Thomas. You will get thousands of videos like this on YouTube. But, is this even possible? Are these videos are real or fake? So, answer to this is yes and even no. Yes, because hacking with Thomas is possible. And no, because it is possible but in a limited manner. Thomas itself says on their wiki that they discourage hacking and that's because of fake videos available on YouTube and other sites. Hacking is possible with Thomas, but before doing anything by watching those tutorials, you should know what you are doing. So hacking with Tamax can be divided into two parts. One with root, another without root. So let's see first without root. Hacking things which require hardware access or real root privileges like hacking Wi-Fi can't be done without root in Tamax. Still, there are a lot of hacking techniques which can be used in Tamax without root. Tools like Metasploit, Social Engineering Toolkit, Nmap, Brothel Exploitation Framework, Hydra and many others can be easily installed in Termux and also works fine. But if you have root access, you can do a lot more like hacking Wi-Fi, performing HID attacks, MITM attacks and many others can be easily done with Termux. Now, which this tool is best for hacking in Termux? So no doubt, it is Kali NetHunter, which is specially made for this purpose only. It has both rooted and unrooted version. And how to install it on Android phones? is available on the channel. Link will be in description. But note that if you can install tools in Termux that don't use that in NetHunter on any other distro because NetHunter rootless uses root and root is slow. Best example for this is Metasploit. If you run Metasploit in Termux then it will run much faster than it runs in NetHunter. And also if you are getting a new phone for practicing hacking get anyone from all of this because all of this support installing full NetHunter allows you to easily perform HID attacks, MITM attacks and many others. But if you are not getting a new phone, root your existing phone. But note that rooting voids your warranty. Few brands like Xiaomi allows you to root your phone without voiding your warranty. And also if you don't know what you are doing, rooting process can glitch your phone. So that's all for this video. Hope you got all your answers from this video.